everyone. In this video, we'll make our own electromagnet and also study the factors affecting the strength of an electromagnet. Don't skip the video because we will not only just make the electromagnet, but we will also find its north-south polarity. In my previous video on electromagnetism, we discussed how electricity and magnetism are linked with each other. When electric current passes through a wire, it behaves like a magnet. If you haven't already watched the video, I would suggest you do watch it first. I have shared the link in the description of this video. First, we will make the electromagnet. Here, I have enamel coated insulated copper wire. We will also need an iron nail, around 6 to 10 cm long. Now, we will bind the wire tightly around the nail in the form of a coil, leaving some extra length at both the ends. Remove insulation from both ends using sandpaper. Connect the free ends of the wire to the terminals of the battery through a switch. Place a few small iron articles near the nail. As we can see, they don't cling to the nail. Now turn on the current and we will observe that the nail behaves like a magnet. Again turn the switch off and we observe that the nail no longer shows magnetic properties. This coil behaves like a magnet when electric current flows through it. When electric current is switched off, the coil loses its magnetism. Such coils are called electromagnets. Electromagnets are actually made of soft iron, which has low carbon content because it gets magnetized and demagnetized easily. Perfect for temporary magnet. Since our iron nail is not actually made of soft iron, you may notice that it still retains magnetism for some time, even after turning off the current. Before we move to the factors affecting strength of electromagnets, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe for more such science videos. This electromagnet can lift lighter objects but not the heavier one. To lift the heavier objects, we need an electromagnet with more strength. There are two ways to achieve that. First, we will make another electromagnet with more number of coil and the same batteries. We can now lift this heavier nail also. Another method is to increase the current flowing through the coil. For that, I have taken a bigger battery and an electromagnet with less number of coils. And again, the strength of our electromagnet has increased. The strength of an electromagnet depends on the number of turns of wire wound around the coil and the amount of current flowing through the wire. We know that magnetic field lines run from North Pole to South Pole outside the magnet and from South Pole to North Pole inside the magnet, which clearly means if magnetic field lines are coming out of magnet, it is the North Pole and if lines are going inside the magnet, it is South Pole. I have this model of an electromagnet. Let's determine its polarity. If this end is connected to positive terminal of battery, the current would flow as represented by the arrows. Now let's look at the electromagnet from this face. As we can see, the current is going up in a left hand side and down in a right hand side. So as seen from this face, the direction of current is clockwise. Now let's apply the right hand thumb rule as discussed in my previous video. Keep the right hand thumb in the direction of current flow. This curl of our fingers will represent the direction of magnetic field. The curl is actually going inside the coil. So we know that this end is south pole. If we look from the other end, here the current is going down in our left hand side and up in our right hand side, which makes the current flow anticlockwise as seen from this face. Point the right hand thumb in the direction of current flow 
and we see that this curl is coming out of the coil. So we know that this end is not pole. If we look at an electromagnet, this end will be connected to positive terminal of battery and this end will be connected to negative terminal which makes the flow of current in this direction. If we look at the space of the coil, current will be flowing in clockwise direction. So this should be the south pole of our magnet. Let's confirm the same using a compass. As we can see, this end of our electromagnet attracts north pole of the needle of compass which confirms that this indeed is south pole. More the amount of current flowing through the coil, stronger the magnet is. Many cranes have strong electromagnet attached to it. The electromagnets are also used to separate magnetic material from junk. In fact, Doctors use tiny electromagnets to take out small pieces of magnetic material that have accidentally fallen in ice. Electric bells, headphones, speakers, motors, generators. There is a long list of devices that use electromagnets. Even maglev train systems use powerful electromagnets to float the trains over a guideway instead of the old steel wheel and track system. Do try to make your own electromagnet and share your experience with me. Please like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.